Come to the stadium. There, Bozak will judge you. Occasionally, a flawed game can be so charming and get enough of the big stuff right that it rises above wonky presentation issues and rough edges. Dead Island is one of those games. A role-playing game where you can survive Z-Day on your own or with up to three additional players, Dead Island isn't beautiful all the time and doesn't tell a riveting story. But it is fun, huge, and so addicting that I want to get this video review over with so I can get back to playing. That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mate. The zombie apocalypse has befallen a resort island in Papua New Guinea, and you are one of the four people immune to the bites of the living dead. This means that you're the only ones who can wander the massive island to find supplies, save survivors, and loot the open world. That makes for good times. The environments are among Dead Island's strengths. They're varied from the sunny beaches to the decrepit city to the dank and dark sewers. There's always something horrendous to see, and I found myself ignoring quests to go off and explore. A big part of bringing those environments to life is Dead Island's sound. Zombies yell here, and I found myself creeping through areas listening for the undead. Hell, I've played more than 20 hours, and I still feel my heart pounding every time I'm running from an infected and can hear it shouting behind me. The island landscapes can be stunning, and hacking off zombie limbs looks rad. But cutscenes suffer, animations are janky, and textures take their time popping in. All of this is worse on the PlayStation 3 than on the Xbox 360. After an abrupt and admittedly flat start, the thing that stood out to me was how much Dead Island borrows from Fallout 3, in a very good way. There are bags to loot, a skill tree to fill out, and a quest system delightfully packed with stuff to do. You don't choose dialogue responses, but that was the least of my concerns as I rushed around seeing what quest was closest and how I could spend my XP. This is a detailed RPG that's a ton of fun to play. Layered on top of that RPG stuff is first person melee combat. There are guns in the game, but machetes, sickles, and baseball bats are the stars of Dead Island. Once I started turning kitchen knives into electrified instruments of death, I was sold. And that's what Dead Island is all about, experimenting to make it your own. You pick a character at the beginning who has their own stats and weapon bonuses. There are three skill trees to investigate, a bunch of weapon mods for your arsenal, and different strategies for dealing with the undead. No encounter was the same for me, especially considering I could jump into other people's games when I was notified that I was near them and friends could pop into mine. And I loved that. What is wrong with you? Ah! Who's next? I'd never describe Dead Island as a polished game, but I would tell you it's one of my favorites of 2011. Sure, it's obtuse in the beginning and has some visual issues, but the quests, leveling up, and creepy tension made it easy for me to dig it. If you want to become a brain-dead zombie, watch the Jersey Shore. For more on Dead Island, though, check out IGN.com.